If you are an NBAB host, you will find under the performance section a new tab called opportunities. It's available with the other tabs called quality, occupancy and rates, conversions, earnings and superhost. What does opportunities do? Well, basically opportunities enables you as a host to find actions that you should be taking suggested by Airbnb to basically get more bookings. Airbnb is able to look at your local market and recommends actions that should be, should be taken uh, based, for example, on travel trends. Um, it's also based on customer preferences going to your area. For example, they're able to recommend you to um, allow longer stairs, uh, offer weekly and monthly discounts, uh, if it matters to people in your area. Same thing, they may uh, tell you, hey, you should be updating your amenities list or add this uh, because in your area, maybe there's a lot of remote workers going or families. So uh, as you can see, this opportunities tab <clears throat> has different topics. So it's, it's a way for you to find actions that you can use to stay competitive. Um, in the case here, you can see on my screen, they want me to offer uh, weekly discounts uh, to attract guests looking to book for seven nights or more. And you can see already that I have three of my four listings that have this available. So if I want to, I just click on it on the little arrow and the right hand side, I can take action. Same thing, I can uh, welcome guests for short stays, uh, short trips. So uh, here basically they want me to reduce my uh, number of nights for shorter stays, right? Probably my length of stay is at least two to three nights depending on my listings. And they want me to have more bookings by enabling one night, which I'm not gonna do. Um, also they want me, for example, to offer a self check-in. Uh, and again, uh, they tell you that self checking can be offered for this different method. You can also click to learn more. Um, you also find actions that you may have taken. For example, all my listings are instant booking enabled already. Uh, they all have monthly discounts and they all enable longer trips, trips over uh, 28 days. So here, these actions I've taken, they are piled up down there. Um, so basically, what's, what's different here with the advice that Airbnb used to tell you? What Airbnb says, what Catherine Powell, the, the global head of uh, hosting says, that Airbnb here wants to give you more insights and wants to give you more control on the actions to take. Obviously, this is different from, let's say, smart pricing, where Airbnb decides the prices for you. Here you get more insights, more reasons why you should be doing this, I must say for the moment, um, it's not super uh, tailored uh, to my needs, but they say it should be more tailored. Uh, what I mean that is like probably every listing in the world um, will get this kind of uh, advice, like not to offer um, weekly discounts or self-check-in or be instant bookable. But what Airbnb promises is to improve this tool so that in this one place, you file, find all the relevant advice that you can be adding. Because if you think about it, some of this advice, some of these tips or things Airbnb wanted to, wants you to do to get more bookings, where well, they were there already, but they were sort of all over the map. They were in the calendar. They were um, in, in the reservations, in, uh, in your... Um, um, in your um, listing description, uh, they were a bit all over the place. And here, in a way, Airbnb has gathered all of them within this Opportunities tab. So this is not unlike if you use Booking.com, for example. This is not unlike Booking.com's Opportunity Center, which, by the way, also uh, sum up, sums up the different actions somebody should be taking and they are also supposed to be tailored for your property and for your market. Um, what's interesting in a way is that um, Airbnb is switching for some contextual advice, meaning like the advice is given in a calendar where, when you're looking at your dates or your prices to grouping things all together. Um, 
So it's a nice effort. Again, Airbnb says they will beef up here the things. Um, hopefully, uh, this tool will be useful to you. Again, it's really, really a way for Airbnb uh, to build up what they want uh, you to do uh, in terms of, of analytics. With underperformance, you could already analyze you know, the quality of your place, uh, the reviews, have data on your occupancy, uh, on the conversions you had, you know, how many people are looking at your places, your listings, and then bookings kind of things. Now, um, they want to go further and make sure you do see the advice they want to give you. Uh, so, of course, they want to give you more control, but it's also a way for them to uh, guide you more because apparently as well as um, Catherine Powell said that people, hosts, uh, were looking for more guidance. So this tool is here to give you guidance, tell you what you could be doing, and uh, hopefully in the future it will be even more tailored to your area. So to find it, go to your host dashboards under performance, and the first tab by default is opportunities. See you soon.